Testing the Waters actually was a program that was developed by nine different organizations, including the Department of Natural Resources, uh, MMSD, which is the sewage district, uh, sewer PAC, uh, also the, the two different extension offices, and four nature centers. And they developed this back in 1990, 89-90, that school year. Uh, for the purpose of educating young people about, you know, the, the value of their, their water. Now that I've been more involved with the Testing the Waters program, I, I think it's a great opportunity to get outside the classroom. Science is outside the four walls of the school. I think it's a good opportunity to take a look at some experiential learning opportunities for my students, uh, make some connections with the learning process. I was kind of skeptical because I didn't know what the outcome was be or really the importance of testing the water. But in AP Bio right now, we're actually studying ecology, and I think the testing the water program was a good opportunity to even like uh, put an emphasis on how important it was because in biology we are studying how organisms react around each other in their environment and with the ecosystem, and it showed how much their ecosystem and like the temperature. Or, how much like minerals are in it or even like the clarity of the water can affect the organism itself. There, there's actually nine tests, nine parameters that are tested within the uh, water body that's part of the testing the waters program. Uh, the ones that we have done include dissolved oxygen testing, takes a look at how much oxygen is within that present body of water. It take, we're also going to take a look or have taken a look at phosphate load, uh, water clarity, coliform bacteria, E. coli, so there's a number of tests. Basically, you're taking a look at the health and well-being of that body of water. I think it's a really good opportunity because you can always do it in a classroom, but it's really good to see like, it in the outside world and really relate to your community and other places rather than just what you're seeing in the classroom. We're such a small town and we don't really realize that what we do as a town affects everything just because of watershed. So say we have huge amounts of pollutants in Slinger, it's not just gonna stay in Slinger, it's gonna travel all over the place. So we need to be cognizant of that.